hey guys welcome back i hope you are doing super great in today's video i will share with you how to make very delicious carrot stew and if you want your carrot stew to come out very red like tomato stew this is the video for you so sit back and enjoy yeah the following ingredients i have already washed chicken i have scotch bonnet pepper garlic and ginger sweet pepper red bay pepper onions and carrots so as for the carrots i'm using seven so i'm using chicken so this is not chicken stew this is carrot stew you can use any meat of your choice then i will season with some salt chicken seasonings curry powder fresh thyme fresh rosemary then follow with some chopped onions, garlic, ginger, and one scotch bonnet pepper. And I will start to combine. And after that, I will cover it to cook with its own juice. I'm not adding any water. Next, I will wash and cut the minced peppers, peel the carrots and cut into pieces before I will go ahead to blend them. And if today is your first time coming across this channel, my name is Rebecca, you are very welcome. Please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and also turn on your notifications so you'll be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. And to my old and new subscribers, to all my viewers, thank you so so much for your support. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. Like I said earlier, if you want your carrot stew to come out very red like tomato stew, this is what you will do. So you see this red bay pepper and sweet peppers, so they are the number one key. So you make your peppers to be very red here, yeah, use red peppers. So your carrot should not be too much. So this carrot stew, you can't even tell the difference. You can see it from the beginning, if it's carrot stew or if it's a uh, tomato stew. And right now, tomatoes are very cost in the supermarket. So this carrot stew is very, it's very important, I think so. So let me tell you guys one story. It was last week I went to the supermarket. So normally, whenever I want to buy fresh tomatoes, I always buy it together with other of my height of other things I want to buy. They also they will just calculate everything together. So last week I want to cook. Was this stew or yeah, jollof, something like that? So the, I was not having enough tomatoes at all. So I went. I said, okay, let me quickly go to the supermarkets because they are very close to us. So I entered the supermarket. I just took just six, just six. So they said eight zero something. I was like, what? And this tomatoes is very small, small. <laughs> eight zero something. So I went back again. I said, okay, let me just take four. Four was now six zero something. I said, oh my god. So I later took the one of four. So can you just see? Can you imagine? Tomatoes are very cost right now in supermarkets. So guys let's take a look at the chicken so you see it look at the water that just come out from the chicken i did not add any water So as for the pepper, this is exact texture I need. So I'm, I don't want it to be too smooth. I want it just like this. So at this point, I will go ahead to pack out the chicken from the pot and fry them. So now I'm adding cooking oil into the pan. Then add a little bit of onions. Then I'll go ahead to fry the chicken. So now I just sipped the chicken stock 
or chicken broth or yeah the broth because i don't want that inside this too next i will go ahead to add the oil yeah, i used to fry the chicken into the pot then follow with some chopped onions then i will fry it for a minute next i will add in some garlic powder and ginger powder yeah the one i made though yeah i did it some curry and thyme then i will fry for two minutes next i will add in the minced peppers Then I will give it a quick stir, cover it a bit and leave it to cook for 20 to 25 minutes. So right now you can see the stew is coming up, it's bringing out its beauty, you can see it. And once you will know it splashes everywhere, you keep cleaning and cleaning. Right now I just add the chicken stock, then I will give it a quick mince. Then be sure to taste, taste it. You know carrot is very sweet before adding your seasonings. Then I just added a little bit of seasoning cube and salt. So you don't want your stew to come out like meow meow meow. <laughs> so next I will go ahead to add the fried chicken. And I will go ahead to add some fried fish, yeah. So I told you before how you made this stew. This is not chicken stew. This is not fish stew. It's carrot stew. So the meat you use is just totally optional how you want it. As you are watching and you enjoy what you see, please consider to give this video a like. Okay? Thank you. Right now this stew is ready. So you can see how... It came out so beautiful. You can't even say it's carrot stew. So right now I'm going to eat mine with spaghetti. So you can eat it with rice, white rice, spaghetti, whichever thing you choose to eat it with. So that is it. So guys, let's give it a taste. This carrot stew, mm, mm, mm. it's very delicious, guys. You must give it a try. Give it a try. It's very, very de delicious. There's no difference between carrot stew and fresh tomato stew or hot tomato stew. No different. So, guys, if you enjoyed this recipe, please consider to give it a like, share with your family and friends, and leave a comment. And please consider to subscribe if you have not yet. Turn on your notifications so you'll be the first to be notified whenever I upload new video. Alright guys, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. And stay blessed.